one plus minus square root over 14.1 square minus four times one, which is a c become c become negative 248.3 then divided by two times one. So negative 14.1 plus minus, we do the calculation for the numbers inside. So 198.81 minus minus become plus, so plus 993.2 divided by two times one become two. Negative 14.1 plus minus, now the number in the square root is 119. 2.01 divided by 2 and that that become 14.1 a negative 14.1 plus or minus no we get a, get rid of square root so what you get is 34.53 divided by 2 okay so take one time one number at one time and uh, so you let's say you get x1 equals negative 14.1 minus does not make sense because uh, the, the, the change x cannot be negative. So this gives us negative 24.3280 m. But we, keep, we take the positive that make sense, negative 14.1 plus 34.53 divided by 2, so that Given ten point two ATM. Okay, so again we will this one discard because there is a uh, no negative change. So whether they are positive or negative depend on which way they go. We are assuming the X will be positive, but. Um, they might get a, a, a negative x for those rectangles if our reaction is shifting to the right. right. So therefore, uh, this will be 10.2. Uh, so we see that matching. And uh, if you plug those back into the equation, okay, we have to see how we plug back into the uh, back into the IC table to get those answers for our concentration at equilibrium. So we have this IC table. Okay? Now we find out x equals 10.2 ATM. Okay? So therefore, at uh, equilibrium, at equilibrium, the part of pressure of uh, CO, I call that E, or E cross x equals 10.2 ATM, so then pH to E equal to X, right, the IC table, so at equilibrium for CO is X, at equilibrium for H2 is X, so 10.2 ATM. At equilibrium for H2O, so we call it pH2O equilibrium equals 17 17.61 minus x, so 17.61 minus 10.2, and that given 7.4 atm. So these are the few numbers. So these are the three numbers we just find out at equilibrium. Uh, so therefore, the answer for this question is uh, C. Alright, so then next question, the question number 13. And uh, this is actually the continuation of question 2, uh, question 12. So from question 12, we found that at equilibrium PCO, the part of pressure of uh, Carbon monoxide is 10.2 atm. We need to use the ideal gas to find out the more at equilibrium of uh, the CO. Okay, 
So let's see, we have the ideal gas law initially written as PV nRT. Therefore, n equals PV divided by RT. So we will plug the partial pressure of CO at equilibrium into here for P, so which is 10.2. The volume is 1.0. 1.0, 0, 0 liters, the R, 0 0.08206. Temperature, make sure is uh, 800 plus 273. And then we get the mole, which become 0 0.116 mole of uh, CO. And now we can use this much more of CO, which means produced, to get how much more of the carbon solid we need. It's kind of uh, chemical, uh, chemistry 113. Okay? And uh, so if you like, you can also calculate how much more of the, the carbon solid do you need from the more of H2 produced or the more of uh, H2O used. So here we just use we just use the more of CO produced. Okay. So to find out, to find more of CS needed, we use more ratios, which means the coefficient ratio. coefficient ratio from the balanced equation, from the balanced equation. Okay, so we start with uh, 0 0.116 more of uh, CO. Okay. So we want to cancel out the CO and get the CS. Then we have to examine the coefficient in the balance equation. Okay? So let's see the balance equation, the coefficient for CO is 1, for H2O is 1, so therefore, oh, for, not for H2O, for common solid is 1, so therefore it's 1 and 1. So again, where, get, where we get the 1 and 1, we get the 1 and 1 from the coefficient. So the coefficient here for CO is 1 omitted, for common salt is 1 omitted, so therefore just 1 and 1. Right, so the monoxide, carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide comes out, we get the same amount of the more for the carbon solid. Then next, you want to find out those numbers in gram. Okay? We use molar mass of C solid to find gram. To find a gram of C solid. Okay, so more mass of C, C solid means just carbon, pure carbon elements. So then we know from the periodic table, one more C equals 12.01 grams of C. Okay. Uh, starting from uh, 0 0.116 more C, uh, then we know one more C from this equation, is 12.01 gram. So 12.01 gram. So, so therefore, we just take a point 0.116, multiply by 12.01, and get 1.39 grams of C or C solid. Okay. So therefore, the answer is A. Okay, so that's chapter 15.